there's a lot of um, challenges, um, but in the same sense, you know, he is the most loving boy. Four-year-old Remy Bazaar radiates love and sunshine to everyone he meets. Yes, he's the snuggliest, huh? At eight weeks old, Remy was diagnosed with epilepsy. At eight months old, the Bazaar family found out Remy's left hemisphere of his brain didn't form correctly. He's one of five children in the world with a rare genetic condition which caused a malformation of cortical development. Just before his first birthday, he had a major surgery where doctors disconnected the left hemisphere of his brain, leaving Remy with only a functional right hemisphere and hopes his nearly 100 seizures a day would stop. They gave us a 90% chance that he would never have another seizure again in his life. And he does, unfortunately. So he was one of those 10 percenters. Despite the setbacks, Remy is making strides. He now only has four to nine seizures a week. And just within the past year, he's lifting his head up, but still the costs add up. So insurance doesn't cover everything, unfortunately. Like that chair that's over there in the corner, um, insurance wouldn't cover that. They said that a comfortable place to sit is a convenience, not a necessity. Between doctor's appointments in Ohio and a need for new equipment, the Bazaar family needs help. And that's where Deputy Bazaar's work family comes in. The Westmoreland County Sheriff's Office is now accepting donations on behalf of one of their own. Law enforcement is a family. It's very family oriented. Once somebody's in the organization, we, have, we help each other out no matter what. That has been a blessing in disguise for us. The deputies set up a GoFundMe for Remy and are donating vacation time for Deputy Bazaar so he can take off for appointments. When I took that job on, I never knew that it was family oriented. They were like, they do so much for me. All with the goal to help Remy in any way possible. He's daddy's little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting in Greensburg, Ava Rash, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.